Hello and welcome back to another Punch Technology video. Today we are going to do a quick guide on how to install your Windows 11 updates and your optional updates as well. It's going to be a really quick guide so we're going to jump straight into it. Now to get started uh, you just want to make sure you've got an active internet connection as you can see down here we have an active internet connection because without that you're not going to be able to check for your updates. You also want to make sure that you have Windows activated to make sure all the updates become available. So we're going to start by heading down to the Windows key just down here and then we're going to go into our Windows settings. From there we're going to come into the top left and you'll see we have an option for Windows updates just up here. And we can already see there's one available, so Windows has checked for this already, but we're going to check in case there are any more updates. And what we're gonna do is click this button here that says check for updates. There we go, so it's found all the main updates and it started downloading and installing some of them. We're going to let it do this first and then we're going to check for optional updates. So a few of those updates have now downloaded and installed. There is a couple though that we need to install by restarting the computer. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that right now. So the PC is just restarted and it's telling us that we're up to date, but we're not gonna finish there. There are some more updates to do. Um, before we go and do those, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and turn on the bell icon if this video has helped you so far today. So the final thing we need to look for is our optional updates. What we're going to do is come down to advanced options just here and then we're going to go down to optional updates just below additional options. From there, we can select the optional update that we have available. You might have more optional updates here. If you've just installed your PC, you could have anywhere between 10 and 20 optional updates. You should do all of these because they make sure to install all the latest drivers for any hardware you're using on your computer and it makes sure that everything is working properly. So we're just gonna download and install this optional update as well. And once that's completed, we're going to finish up. So the PC is restarted and upon doing a final check, we can see that we are fully up to date. And if we check advanced options and optional updates, we can see that there is none of these available here. So we are now fully up to date. If this video has helped you out, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like and turn on the bell icon. And I will see you in the next video.